This is the new young face of fentanyl addiction, before and after. 22-year-old Katie Mather, forehead and chin clawed open by her own fingernails because the use of fentanyl makes her skin crawl. I spot her on the strip, Surrey's infamous drug hangout, and ask if she'll talk to me. She puts cover-up on her raw skin. So I'm literally just doing my mascara and I'm good to go. Katie settles in to tell her story. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. How she ended up living on the street three months ago, addicted to fentanyl. Well, I've been using, it's actually funny, well, not funny, it's terrible. I have a really addictive personality. I've always been, like, addicted to something, whether it was shopping or, or Facebook or whatever. And um, I did an oxy. I got addicted right away. And then I got, a, I finally, like, I found a regular dealer and I started picking up all the time. I remember the day the fentanyl came out and my dealer said, you know, I've got these new pills, they're fake oxys. He didn't tell me they were fentanyl because nobody knew what fentanyl was yet. He just said they're a hundred times stronger and they're only five dollars more. And I was just like, okay, because I, you know, I was getting a pretty high tolerance at this point. Oxys, Oxycontin, led to fake 80s, fentanyl posing as Oxycontin. Immediately, Katie wanted nothing else. I could buy one of these fake 80s, put them into four lines, and two lines would last me a full day. That's how strong it was. And if I did a full pill, I would OD. Katie says she's overdosed 11 times, most recently a few days ago, brought back by paramedics or friends on the strip who have naloxone, the powerful opioid antidote. Every time I do dope, I know I'm taking a risk. I know that I, I might die, but like, it doesn't matter how many times I've OD'd, I still use the next day because the withdrawals are so bad. Katie has been in the news before. She and her sister attacked by a Rottweiler cross back in December. Katie was badly hurt and spent time in hospital. She says that cemented her addiction to fentanyl. As she talks, blood starts to seep through her makeup. Katie, you're 22. Why would you risk this? Well, at first it was just fun, right? It was just for fun. It was just a party drug that, you know, like... And there's been some things that I've gone through and it helped with a lot of pain. And especially after, you know, that dog attack, I, I just couldn't stop, you know? I asked Katie if she worries about herself and her future. Sometimes, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I just like to take things at one day at a time, right? I'll kind of just go with it and hopefully, you know, hope for the best. <laughs> for now, the best Katie can hope for is to wake up from her next fix of fentanyl. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Surrey.